I said something that wasn't. Huh? I'm black. I knew it. I'm an Eskimo. Fantastic. I'm a one-armed German space explorer. When's your launch date? Mark Bellison will discover. I can have my life the way I want it. Your losers don't really count. Good. I settled down. The truth. I'm different now. Are you better looking? No. Did you buy new clothes? No. Have you been to the gym? No. About lying. Why do you hate Mark so much? Because he's a loser. You want to marry a strong genetic match and maybe one day have children that aren't little fat kids with snub noses. Exactly. If you could make the world the way you want it to be, if you could do anything, what would you do? The world's gonna end unless we have sex right now. Do we have time to get to a motel or do we need to do it right here? Ricky Gervais, Jennifer Garner, Jonah Hill, Louis C.K. with Rob Lowe and Tina Fey. Do not have sex with anyone unless you are married to them is the rule. What's this? Birthday coupon for sex. <sighs> what am I gonna get you now? But what, but, but, but hold on then. This is my review for The Invention of Lying, released in 2009. I must admit, Though in general I do like Ricky Gervais, I haven't seen too much of his work. The most I have seen is the complete series of extras, which I loved, especially the second season. Um, I thought he was one of the only good things about the Night in the Museum back in 2006, and I like what I've seen of The Office. But in general, apart from that, I've kind of just seen him on chat shows and a bit of his stand-up. Um, I haven't seen really any of his other American movies or a lot of The Office. Uh, going into Invention of Lying, I wasn't too sure about it, though I was impressed by the cast, especially Jennifer Garner, Rob Lowe, Jason Bateman, and Jeffrey Tambor. However, some of the reviews had let been sorry had been less than favourable, and sadly, I have to say, this one will not be that much different. Not in quite a while have I been so bored in a comedy. My main issue with this film is simple. It made very little sense. Now before you start going, come on, it's a high concept movie, it's not meant to make sense. Yeah, fine. But I don't think they even stuck to their idea all that well. The premise is, no one can lie. Great, brilliant. Except it wasn't that half the time. For example, Gervais' character sometimes would walk past someone and they suddenly would reveal some shocking truth. Like one woman kept saying, I don't want to go in there. Uh, regarding to uh, going into her place of work. This method was used quite a bit in the film and it really annoyed me. It's not, I have to say what's in my head out loud for no reason, when asked a question, yeah sure they can't lie, but they keep their mouths, they should be able to keep their mouths shut when they're not asked questions. Come on, it just seemed like a lazy writing to me in order to get more laughs per minute. It didn't seem to work with the whole idea of the film, the, which is its, you know, its 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 main point. That's how the film works, and it just seemed like it was taking a cheat. Another thing, we get it. Gervais isn't good looking. That joke doesn't need to be beat like a dead horse over and over again. It was kind of funny the first couple of times in his other movies and other TV shows. Now, I really think he should get a new batch of jokes because ones on his physical appearance are running thin quick. The film I felt dragged quite a lot. Like the bit where Gervais is reading out the rules of how to live your life. Uh, it seemed like that went on forever, with, uh, at least for me, very little comedic effect. In fact, I think the film's best achievement wasn't even a comedic one, it was a dramatic one. The scene in which Gervais first comes up with the idea of heaven and hell to his dying mother, that was probably the film's best moment in my opinion, but that's a shame when you think this is meant to be uh, a comedy at its heart and the best bit was a drama bit. But you know, comedies can be dramas, I'm a big fan of Wes Anderson so you know, I'm not going to play too much, but I just feel like that wasn't really, I mean he was going for both but I don't think that should have been the best moment in the film considering it's marketed as a comedy. All in all, the main two words that come to mind when I think about the veg and lying are dull and unmemorable. I won't be seeing it again soon. I'm Mark. How are you? <clears throat> A little frustrated at the moment. Also equally depressed and pessimistic about our date tonight. 